Luella Reese has been an unparalleled patron of the arts in Licking County for more than 60 years. She has dedicated her life's work to investing in public art and leveraging that investment to inspire the community and increase arts accessibility. I think supporting the arts has been in mom's DNA from the very start. She was the kid who, back during the 1930s, worked after school to get to take a piano lesson and that sort of thing. I mean, she's always loved music and theater and architecture and design, sculpture, painting, and so forth. She's self-taught in, in the arts community, I would say. And um, she has really spent the last 50, 55 years placing a lot of art, supporting the Newark Granville Symphony Orchestra, the Midland Theater, the Heise Wind Ensemble, and so many different um, arts institutions in Licking County. She has a great uh, empathy for people who would not have an opportunity to experience the arts if they're place bound. Luella's lifelong appreciation and passion for public art was sparked on a school field trip to the Granville Post Office. I can remember it so well because I was in the Granville schools. There were less than 900 people in the town when I was in the school. And our teacher took us on a walk to the new post office that had just been built in Granville. And the mural was, I mean, it was the biggest painting I'd ever, it was the whole wall up above. And it depicted the settlers coming to Granville and clearing the woods so that they could build their log cabins. But I appreciated the fact that someone had put a mural in Granville, and that was a special thing for our little town. As the years passed, her commitment to the arts remained a priority and grew as she met and raised a family with her late husband, John Gilbert Reese. Together, they shared in the philanthropic spirit of the community. I don't think there's a corner of Licking County that hasn't been touched by what she has done. And the sculptures that she's purchased just that in itself, I mean, they're on the bike trails, they're in downtown Newark, they're on the Newark campus of Ohio State and Central Ohio Technical College, they're at Granville High School, they're at Newark High School's football stadium at White Field, they're, they're everywhere. They're in the Licking County Foundation Park, they're everywhere. And um, it really is so wonderful when I think about how she gets so much pleasure out of watching people interact with live, life-size sculpture and play on them and, and just really, it's wonderful. It really is. At 92 years old, Luella's work goes on. I almost feel that I have an obligation to keep going, continuing what Gibbs started. He just always wanted to make Newark and Licking County better. And that's, that's what we're doing.